Hello. Um, I just have a quick question. Yes. Do you guys have any used copies of Raid Shadow Legends? Raid as an R-A-I-D, right? Yeah, Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, You guys don't have it? Nope. Hey now, have you heard of Raid Shadow Legends? I know I sure have. It's nearly impossible for me to watch a YouTube video where it doesn't get shoved down my throat. As a matter of fact, the fine folks over at Plarium even came to me last year and asked me to do an ad read for Raid. And initially, I told them, yep, what a concept. But then they emailed me their passionless script, which immediately made me feel kind of uncomfortable about the whole thing. I also didn't feel confident actively promoting a game that I just didn't know enough about. Or, more importantly, that I wasn't passionate about. But let me make one thing clear. I don't hold anything against any YouTuber who has taken a sponsorship for Raid. The money is simply too good to turn down in some cases, you know? Plarium Games is looking out for my boys in a time where YouTube really isn't. But to get back on topic, what even is Raid Shadow Legends? Gee, what have you been living under a rock? It's the mobile phenomenon that's been taking the world by storm. But you don't gotta take my word for it. Take it away, boys! This episode is sponsored by Rage Shadow Legends. Raid is a brand new free-to-play mobile RPG game with the most amazing storyline. It's extremely immersive and one of the most ambitious games you're going to find on the smartphone. It can be compared with some of the biggest PC and console titles. Rage Shadow Car C is a turn-based game with over 400 champions for you to nab and customize. And apparently recently they've implemented crossplay so you can play on your mobile phone or on your computer. So what are you waiting for? Go to that description box, click that link, and redeem your 50,000 silver and free epic champion. Salut Axel, j'espère que vous allez bien. On est parti pour une deuxième vidéo sur le jeu Red Shadow Legend. Now, I don't have anything against mobile games. There's some pretty good ones out there. As a matter of fact, I actually think that the mobile gaming genre has been a bit of a godsend since they've helped make the more mundane parts of life, like waiting here at the bus stop trips to the bathroom, or waiting for your turn at the dentist's office, much more tolerable. That's the beauty of mobile games. You can play them literally anywhere, even in the middle of a Smash Mouth concert like I did. A band that, if not for Shrek, would have become the next Beatles. And you know what? I believe them. These guys really know how to put on a show. They started performing and, man, I just couldn't help but get up and dance. So. Is Raid Shadow Legends a shooting star that breaks the mold, or does it have the shape of an L on its forehead? Let's find out. Now, before we begin, let me make one thing clear. I'm not making this video to bash on mobile games or the people who play them. No, despite the fact that I consider myself to be a somewhat hardcore gamer, I actually think that mobile games are right up my alley. I have an addictive personality, so naturally I was hooked on Tap My Katamari. I would become engrossed in this game to the point where I would look up from my phone only to suddenly realize that three hours had passed, which meant that the Burger King was about to close. <gasps> oh no! So one of the first things this game has you do is select your character. I did have a little bit of trouble here though since Smash Mouth had awful Wi-Fi, but once you've picked your character, you're fed to the rules, and you can hit the ground running. And, and look at this menu. At first glance, it seems like this game has so much to do, so much to see. But after playing it for a little while, I realize that it's actually pretty shallow. And before you can even get into the gameplay, Raid is constantly nudging you to buy things with in-game pop-ups. Pretty much every time I went back to the main hub, or booted the game back up, I was greeted with anywhere between one to five pop-ups. They really want you to buy these packs. Most of them were on limited time as well, so don't delay. Act now. Supplies are running out. And of course, these purchases give you significant in-game advantages, making this game blatantly pay to win. Strike one, Shadow Legends. Strike one. And you know, I have never in my life purchased a microtransaction. Well, at least not with my own money. I do those little Google reward surveys for 30 cents a pop, I had 10 bucks ready to go, so I went ahead and purchased a $10 pack to speed up my progress in order to get this video done quicker. So, 
When you're not trying to get rid of pop-ups, you spend a lot of your time in this game doing combat, which is turn-based. And at first I thought that was fine. Pretty standard stuff. You have a normal attack and maybe an ability or two that'll debuff an enemy or buff an ally. Bad guys have a yellow bar beneath their health that, once it fills up, it means that enemy can attack you. So you prioritize enemies whose yellow bars are nearly full. And that's pretty much the bulk of it. There are boss fights, but the bosses don't shake up the gameplay in any way. They only serve to elongate this entire process. There is also a very simplistic rock, paper, scissors type mechanic. You know, red beats blue, blue beats green, green beats red, and purple isn't affected by anything. Champions have one color assigned to them seemingly at random, but I was actually able to avoid this mechanic for a large chunk of time. Because I upgraded my orc to level 22 by giving him a bunch of beer. I did this pretty early on, which made him severely overleveled. So thanks to that, I could just saunter through the next few chapters with pretty much no effort. There is also a dungeon game type, which allows you to fight with five champions instead of four. You've also got the arena. Now maybe I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I was under the impression that this would be a PvP mode, where you get to match up against other real human players, and I was kind of looking forward to that. But instead, you're just fighting the AI of some other players for best champions. So after about, I don't know, 45 minutes, I was completely over the entire combat system, to the point where I just wanted to stop playing altogether. I got so sick of watching the same bland, unskippable animations over and over, thank god they put in a button that allows you to double the game's speed. I don't know what to tell you. The combat is so simplistic that there's literally an automatic button, which when you hit it, it just essentially plays the game for you. And that's strike two. The ice you're skating is getting pretty thin, Shadow Legends. And after an hour or so, I had to take a break from the game and go get something to eat, since I could use a little fuel myself. Now some of you might be wondering what this is. Well this right here is Susan. Longtime fans will remember Susan as the sort of mother goose of my channel. She's just some old lady from Fiverr.com who lent her voice to several of my projects over the years. But unfortunately in October of 2019, she passed away. I don't think I can take it anymore. It's time for me to move on to let bygones be bygones, to put my old chattering bones to rest and find some peace and tranquility. But for God's sake, don't let them cremate me. Make sure they don't put my body in the blast furnace. <sighs> so, since Susan had no friends or family and I was her only customer, they sent her ashes to me. And I've just been racking my brain. I have no idea where the hell I'm going to spread these things, you know? I mean, I barely knew her, but the last thing I want to do is be disrespectful to her legacy. There you go. <sighs> Poor thing hasn't eaten all day. But if she's anything like every other old woman I've ever seen, she probably loves gambling. So let's go to the casinos and start there. So, when you're not doing turn-based combat, you can upgrade your artifacts with silver. But the thing about that is, once you get an artifact up to a certain level, it becomes increasingly more difficult to level it up again. It's actually kind of... devious. I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so we got this axe at level 13. Let's, uh, let's get it up to 14. Oh... No, okay. Gosh, maybe this one? Maybe? Oh, gee whiz, I've been had. Come on, let's go again. Come on, this is the one. No, you do this over and over again at 15,000 silver a pop. And next thing you know, that 50,000 silver you got from clicking on PyroCynical's link is gone. Just like that. It is literally no different from gambling. I'll show you. This is the last five bucks that my Nana gave me before she died. We have ignition. Baby, 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 come on. Oh man, we were close. Almost. Come on, baby, I feel this one. This feels good. We. 
Nothing. Eh? Last spin. Wish me luck. One, two, three, four. Nothing. Man, I, uh, I didn't get anything. The hits started coming and they wouldn't stop coming. When you're not upgrading artifacts, you're mostly just tweaking your champions by equipping them with the best weapons and armor, upgrading their skills, and increasing their stats so that their brain gets smart. It's pretty standard RPG stuff. You know what I think is pretty egregious though? If you want to remove an artifact from a champion without destroying it, you have to pay thousands of silver for it. How awful is that? Uh, I mean, that's strike three for Shadow Legends right there. Could you imagine if they did that in something like The Division or Destiny? If they charged you in-game currency to take items off of your character? There would be a riot! And that's pretty much all there is to raid Shadow Legends? Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting. I know that it's just a mobile game, but after a year of seeing countless ads for it, I figured it had to be something special, because they're clearly making enough money from their users to pay countless content creators oodles of cash to promote it. The only thing that really sets it apart from other mobile games is the fact that it has a fully voice acted campaign, and the voice acting is... Well, you know, it's passable. But the lady at Starbucks didn't seem all that impressed by it. At last, they arrived at Narvok, where the temple was now consecrated to the cult of Suroth. Arriving at the snow-clad moor that sloped down to Falwyn's Gate, the company surveyed the grim scene before them. The many peoples of Teleria, all camped in the frozen mud outside the battlements of the Great Gate, now barred. Ogren and Skinwalker guards were denying them entry. I figured that at the very least, Shadow Legends would be average, but it isn't. In fact, it's garbage. I didn't find anything about the feedback loop fun or addicting. You just start up a mission, beat the mission, use the rewards from that mission for better artifacts, keep playing to upgrade those artifacts, and you do all that for what? Also that you can watch your champions saunter through enemy combatants at times two speed? Uh-oh, I ran out of lightning bolts. Looks like I can't play for another few hours until they recharge. But you know what? I'm okay with it. Because Raid Shadow Legends literally did nothing for me. And, and that just doesn't seem right to me, you know? I was more invested in a game where you do nothing more than watch a Katamari roll on the screen as you tap it. I played Ball Blast for two weeks straight. This game is terrible. But somehow I was addicted to it. Hell, I even played Ryan Reynolds' Toon Blast for about a month. I wanted to pass up my dad, so I put in enough time to pass level 350. And that's honestly the worst match game that I've ever played. I could stomach all of that. Yet, I didn't want to continue playing Shadow Legends after just a couple of hours. It doesn't help that everything about Raid is designed to nudge you into paying for something. You ran out of lightning bolts, but you still want to keep playing, well then you gotta buy more. You don't want to grind out 50 victories in the arena for just one out of, I don't know, hundreds of upgrades to your champions? That's fine. Just buy a pack that gives you all the necessary items. You ran out of silver because you were trying to level up an artifact? Well then just buy some more silver. The whole game is built around this massive grind, yet it wants you to circumvent that grind by giving them money. I think this game's monetization is honestly pretty gross, and the fact that it's one of today's most played mobile games is cause for concern. I think we could all use a little change at this point. Well, there's really not much else to say about Raid Shadow Legends. It's just a, it's a little mobile game. There's not much to it. But I figured that this place here would be as good as any other to spread Susan's ashes. And uh, it's nice out here. I, I think she'll finally be at peace. But before our final goodbye, Susan, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for all that you've done on my channel. You will be missed. Goodbye, Susan till we meet again. Hey now, Shadow Legends, get it for free, go play. Hey now, you're a big shill, read your sponsor, got paid. Click that link like you
tickets out for 50,000 silver, but no gold. There goes 10 bucks off my Google Play. Poor old Susan, she's in an ashtray. Well, the packs stopped coming and they don't stop coming. This game is such shit that it clogged my damn plumbing. Taking off clothes costs you silver. Susan is a leaking, so it's hard to grab the spiffer. No fish she ain't. He's looking pretty thin. Don't say I didn't want her. That friend is pay to win. This orc shoots fire. What a snore. These moves are generic and I quickly got bored. Hey now, Shadow Legends, uninstall this. Don't play. Hey now, Shadow Legends, hope it burns like Suze. Turn based combat gets old. No more lightning bolts, games on how old. Turn based combat gets old. No more lightning bolts. Well, that's all I got for this video, everybody. I know it was a little bit different than what I usually do on this channel, but if you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like down there because those are actually genuinely helpful. And I gotta give a big shout out to Orion GamerCat for pretty much producing this entire video. And this video wouldn't have been possible without him or the rest of my patrons for that matter. Maybe consider joining them in the Patreon so that I can continue to get a little more outlandish with my content. And where would we be without my cameraman right there? Kenzie, my brother, f he filmed this whole shindig. Did a great job at it, too. Go ahead and tell him. Go ahead and tell him how good he did in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.